In today's video, we are checking out a must-have trumpet accessory, the Mucati. What's going on everyone? My name is Josh Rezepka and welcome to this Tuesday edition of Mute Monday. If you're new around here, welcome. Mute Monday is a series where I discuss and demonstrate trumpet mutes. Today we're actually going to be talking about mute holders. These are devices that you attach to your music stand and you can put your mutes in them. These ones you can actually put mouthpieces in and one of them even has a space for a pencil. Perfect for practicing for gigs. I'm very excited to show you these. Even if you're not a real big mute junkie, if you are just a professional trumpeter or you're a student in college, this is something you gotta consider. This is gonna help you out. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would I need a mute caddy? Why would I need something to stick my mutes on uh, that's attached to the stand? I can just put them on the ground. And that is a great question to ask. If you've ever played in a pit for a musical, then you know better to ask that question. If you haven't had that much ensemble work where you're changing mutes really quick, um, then you don't know that sometimes when you're on gigs, sometimes when you're playing, you have very, very fast mute changes where you're playing, you're playing, you've got one measure, two measures of rest, and you don't really have time to go kind of reaching down on the ground and, and trying to find where your mute rolled off to. You can have them right in front of you and these two mute holders from Mucati, let's check them out. This is the Mucati, and look how many mutes and mouthpieces and even a pencil these devices can hold. Really very cool. You can put a lot on these, and they clip onto any stand, and that montage that you just watched, that is the Artist model and the Longoria model. Two different models attached to my Manhasset music stand. I'm just gonna go through both of these models so you can find out about them, so you can see what they're all about. A big thanks to Mute Candy for sending me both of these. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, and I'm just giving my opinion and my review on these two items. I gotta give a little spoiler though, I really like these, I dig them, I think they're fantastic. Now, Mute Caddy was founded just a couple years ago, in 2016, 2017, by Steve Klein. Now, Steve has had many different careers. Uh, he's been a teacher, he's been a union rep for teachers, uh, and he's been an active trumpet player. And all along, he's had this idea in his head. He wanted to help trumpet players uh, with their mute changes. Now, one thing that bothered Steve for a very long time as a trumpet player uh, was changing mutes and dealing with, you know, putting them on the ground, having to reach for them, breaking the concentration. And sometimes you've only got one measure, you know, two measures, maybe a couple beads even, just to go find that mute, stick it in there, take it out. Well, what's the solution? He was looking all over for a mute holder that would attach the stand and he just wasn't really happy with any of the options that were available. So he took it upon himself to design two different mute stands and these are really terrific and they solve a lot of problems. Steve, he consulted with machinists, engineers, patent attorneys, different musicians and he came out with this artist model. Now check this out up close. This is the updated artist model and this is great. It is lightweight, it is strong. Look how thin this is and check out the back of this. It has a mechanism that allows it to attach to virtually any music stand that's out there. This will fit on a Manhasset stand, which is the most common stand out there, a Proline stand. It'll even fit on a collapsible wire stand because you can screw this all the way in so that it is so tight, uh, it'll grip just about anything. And you can see how you can loosen it and tighten it really easily and that back bracket, it just kind of flips up and then you can put it around any music stand. And this artist model, it holds four mutes and two mouthpieces, which is great. And you can see how thin this is. This is gonna fit in your gig bag. Uh, you can carry it around in a bag really easily. Now, Steve told me he tried this on every single type of stand he could, and he sent it to different trumpeters, and they tried it out, uh, and it worked for everyone. So uh, you can really feel good about that, uh, knowing that it's gonna work for you. Now, these designs that he's created, these are patented, which is great, because that means that he's gone through that process of, of working with the design and the patent attorneys, and making sure that he's created a new product, something that is different from anything else that's out there, because uh, they don't give you a patent if it's if it's not new, if it's not different, uh, they won't issue that patent. So um, that just kind of shows all the research, all the thought that went into building these. Now, Steve told me that it took a couple months, around three months, for him to go through that prototyping process until he really 
uh, came up with the final design on that artist model, but he is constantly updating and improving these uh, based on new ideas and suggestions uh, from these being out in the real world. Now we just checked out that artist model, the one that clamps to any music stand, holds four mutes and two mouthpieces, uh, but he has another model. This is the Longoria model. Now the Longoria model is called that because David Longoria was the first trumpeter to endorse uh, this particular model. This particular one is designed for a Manhasset music stand, uh, which is really the most common music stand that you're gonna find. All universities, all schools, all orchestras, they're all using Manhasset music stands. Uh, it is the gold standard of a music stand. Look how easily that slides on. Just instantly, it is so easy to just put on your stand. It doesn't take up space. It doesn't block where the music's gonna be. Uh, it doesn't affect the stand uh, negatively or the way that you would perform in any way, shape, or form. It's got four holes in it for your mutes. It's got three spots for mouthpieces and even a hole for pencil, which is Awesome. Uh, the one thing I will say about that pencil slot, you have to use a wooden pencil. A mechanical pencil is not gonna fit inside of it. Uh, you can just fit kind of the end of it in and then it'll just be sticking out. Now this model is also made out of ABS plastic. It is one part. Uh, there are no moving parts, nothing to lose and nothing to break. If you saw how easily it slides onto the music stand, and according to Steve, you could actually put a uh, cup inside of one of those uh, mute slots if you wanted to. The thing I love about this is that it is so slimline. Uh, it doesn't get in the way of anything. And wherever your music is, whatever height and level your music's gonna be at to be comfortable to play, that's where your mutes are gonna be. But since it attaches to the bottom of the stand and then it kind of you know tilts forward underneath, you're never going to have your mutes or anything be in the way of the music. They're just gonna be right there. Now, I've had these for two weeks, I've had a chance to use them, and I gotta say the quality, I am really impressed with both of these. Um, very well built, they hold the mutes so well, I haven't had a single mute fall out, I haven't, I haven't had any uh, you know, of the stands kind of slide down or, or do anything funky. For my studio here at home, I've got two mute racks now attached to my stand, I'm gonna leave it like that. I may need to get more of these just to be able to bring out to gigs, but I wanna just leave these here at home, I can always have my favorite mutes out, put my mouthpieces there, whatever music I'm working on, I got everything ready to go. Really just a great and well thought out product and much better than any other uh, mute stand that I've used in the past. I've had some different mute stands in the past and uh, they were kind of spring loaded where you had to, you know, kind of uh, uh, squeeze it and then you attach it to the, to the music stand. Because of that clamp mechanism, it couldn't fit on a lot of music stands and I've had the clamps break and uh, you know, they just don't fit on everything. And then the way that, at least the ones that I had, the way that they were built and attached, um, there was a lot of moving parts. And if you didn't have everything tightened really well, uh, you know, it could kind of flip over to the side or fall over and make a big mess. And uh, that is the last thing you want when you're on a gig is for all your mutes and everything to fall all over. So that's what I really love about these. It's that whole less is more. Uh, these are simple, there's nothing complicated about them. They just work. So if you're looking for an accessory that's gonna help you out, it's gonna help you play better, your mutes are gonna be right there, you're not gonna lose them, they're not gonna get kicked and roll around the stage and, and uh, you know fall all over the place and uh, you're not gonna miss any of your cues, these are the answer. So if you're like me and you've got a lot of trumpet mutes and you've got your studio set up at home, uh, this is something you want. If you are playing gigs, Broadway shows, this is something you need. If you're a professor, a teacher at a university, if you have a trumpet studio, um, this is great. Your pencil fits right there. Mouthpieces, mutes, boom. It's just a great way to keep everything organized. I think it just looks really cool also on my music stand where I have all these mutes and uh, you know, it's just like, I feel ready for work. I feel ready to practice and uh, uh, I really love that. So that is the artist model and the Longoria model from Muketti. A very big thank you again to Steve for sending me these. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Has anyone got one of these? Has anyone got a different mute holder? And uh, you know, what do you think are the pros and cons of the different ones that you've got? Um, really interested to know what people are using and what you think. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, it would be a big help to me if you hit that like button and the subscribe button. It really makes a very, very big difference. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.